Welcome to St. John United Church in the Wild Lake Interfaith Center in the city of Columbia, Maryland. I'm Reverend Mary Kay Canahan. We certainly hope that you have enjoyed the preview of highlights from Vacation Bible School 2021. Our theme was Discovery on Adventure Island, Seeking God's Great Light. And you will notice that we have stayed in theme on this day as we are in tropical attire and fun and festive tie-dye accessories. You notice that we have the theme here with our lighthouse and our friend here sitting atop the lighthouse for all my children and youth explorers at home is um, mu muffin, be bacon. Puffin. No, he is a puffin. Ah! Beacon. That was the clue. The lighthouse. Beacon is his name. So we welcome Beacon into worship also. We are re-entering our gathered worship time at St. John United gradually. We have welcomed all adults, especially those who are vaccinated, to come on Sunday mornings, uh, those who are willing to wear masks and stay safely distanced. We look forward to seeing many more of you in the coming weeks. We are glad for those joining us today through our live stream connection and hope that you find this service a support for your faith. Please be comfortable and appreciate as you take a deep breath the gift of God's light living in you. We are celebrating Vacation Bible School today, and so we welcome Minister Jen McClurg, who was our lighthouse keeper for Vacation Bible School, and our liturgist, Dean Randall. Please visit our webpage at sjunited.org for information about church life, community partnerships, denominational connections, as well as COVID-19 resources and support. You may write to us at sjucolumbia at gmail.com. Everyone is welcome at St. John United. We hope that you gather here and experience God's loving presence. No matter who you are, where you have come from, what you have experienced, how you identify, or who you love, you are welcome. If you seek to live in peace and grow in love, with God and one another, we welcome you. So Discovery on Adventure Island Vacation Bible School was held this week. We celebrate the 25 young lives of children and youth that were touched, uh, learning about and experiencing God's love made known in Jesus Christ. We had an outdoor in-person celebration yesterday, and you will hear more about the richness of this missional ministry in today's message from Minister Jen. 
Our prelude this morning, our opening song of uh, reflection comes from Patricia Hammer, our accompanist, and our opening song in keeping with our theme of letting God's light shine is let your light shine. Friends, let us join in praise and worship of our Lord.
Please join me in the call to worship. Jesus calls us to be the light of the world. God invites us to be a light to the nations. To carry God's life-giving message to the ends of earth. The Holy Spirit dwells in us, giving us strength to do God's work. A verse from the book of Isaiah. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The Lord's glory has shone upon you. And a reading from Matthew. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under a bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Good morning, SJU. I am Lighthouse Keeper Jen, and I had the honor and privilege of being our Vacation Bible School director this year. And I'm here to help us celebrate our 2021 Vacation Bible School Discovery on Adventure Island. This past week, as you heard uh, Pastor Mary Kay tell us, we had 25 explorers join us each day on Zoom to sing, dance, listen and watch Bible stories, and do an activity to help us remember our Bible lesson. Like Pastor Mary Kay, I had a very hard time all week remembering the name of our feathered friend. Um, bacon, pecan, muffin, b bacon, pecan, muffin, beacon, beacon, it's beacon. Um, some of our younger friends were a little upset when I couldn't remember his name even by Friday. So they had a shout out and help me remember his name to get started. So Beacon the Puffin and I had a great week with all our friends at VBS, and yesterday we had a great time at our in-person celebration party. We'd like to show you some video of that now for our sharing time with our children.
can tell, we had a great time this past week. I'm so thankful to be here today to be able to give this sermon on VBS Sunday. I just want to take a moment before I start to thank the many, many people who helped to make this happen. Whether they were behind the scenes, leading us through sessions on Zoom, or supporting us in other ways, we could not have done it without our enormous team of volunteers. So a big thank you goes out to all of our adult helpers at home who helped our explorers on Zoom, to all of our behind the scenes support, some of whom don't wish to be named, uh, Pastor Mary Kay Canahan, Mary Lou Shippey, Karen Randall, Pamela Brown, Karen Hopkins, Guy and Susan Moody, Pamela Love, Betsy Hudson, Hewitt Tashome, Patsy Wambarocha, our puppeteer extraordinaire, Donna Heyman, and last but not at all least, my co-leader, technical director, and chief communication officer, C.J. Bush. I cannot say enough thank yous to all of you for helping to make Discovery on Adventure Island happen. When we first began planning, our VBS team decided that we wanted to have three goals for the end of VBS. Our first goal, to make sure that everyone knew that God loved them no matter what. Our second goal, to instill a sense of mission in our young friends. And our third goal, to have fun. We spent a week on Adventure Island, led by Beacon the Puffin, learning how to arise and shine the light of God out into the world. Each day we shared our signal verse from Isaiah 60. And if we have any explorers watching at home or any island guides who may have been there and you'd like to join me, we're gonna say it now. Arise, shine, your light has come. The Lord's glory has shone upon you. We also had a pathfinder word to focus on each day. We learned about love, trust, faith, joy, and hope. And on the uh, edge of the altar, you can see a lantern. Each day we found a lantern of either love, trust, faith, joy, or hope. And when we found it, it was lit and helped us light our path. When we ended on Friday, our VBS team spent a few minutes celebrating what we had accomplished with the kids after they had ended their Zoom sessions. We all agreed that we thought we had accomplished those three main goals, but I wanted to double check. Luckily, I have an eight-year-old VBS explorer at home, so I asked him about our three goals with no prompting, curious about what his answers would be. I'd like to share them with you today. When I asked, what did you learn about God this week? He answered, that God loves everyone no matter what. When I asked, what does it mean when we do mission projects? He answered, mission projects mean that we care about other people. And when I asked if he had fun, I got a loud, yes! So I'm happy to say that both from the adult and kid perspective, I think we definitely accomplished our goals. In previous years, our mission projects have involved inviting our VBS participants and their families to financially contribute to projects. We've also invited you, the congregation, to participate in these projects as well, sometimes challenging you to give as much as the entire VBS has also raised. Between VBS families and our congregation, we have raised thousands of dollars to, sp to support the Aurora Children's Foundation in Liberia, Columbia Community Care here in Columbia, and the Youth Rising Coalition in Baltimore. And while that certainly has made a huge difference in the world, this year we were looking for something a little bit different. As we have all spent the past 16 months learning how to navigate in a world with COVID, especially pre-vaccine, I think what we have all missed the most is connections. Connecting with friends, with family, even with strangers. I never realized how many times a day I smile at people, even strangers, to convey a sense of, hello, I'm here, I see you. You are not alone until I had to wear a mask and I realized that I keep smiling at people even though they can't see it. So we wanted to make sure that whatever we did this year, we were doing something to help us connect with others. But we also wanted to show our young explorers that connections are more than just with your friends, your teammates, or your classmates. 
Our first project was to make a bookmark that will be sent out to any of our SJU friends at home who are unable to join us in church for various reasons, so we can reflect God's light and love to them. Our second project was to make a card for a friend at VBS, someone that we had met that week, to remind them that God loves them so much. And our third project was to make signs for Bryant Woods Elementary School, our partner school, and let the educators and students know that our church supports them and is here for them. By doing these three mission projects, we gave our explorers a chance to make a connection and to shine God's light by giving their time and their talents. I'd like to think that maybe that had a little more impact on the explorers themselves this year. I think these connections are especially important for our young people who have just spent anywhere from 12 to 16 months attending school, learning, making friends, and growing up on a computer instead of in person. Even now, with most adults vaccinated, I know that many of us with young kids who are too young to receive the vaccine are continuing to limit our interactions with others in order to keep our kids as safe as possible. So creating these connections at VBS felt like a tangible way our kids could learn how to shine God's love to others, whether they know that person or not. I read somewhere once that a stranger is just a friend you haven't met yet, and I just love that phrase. We are all children of God. We are all brothers and sisters. Each of these three groups of folks we created connections with for our mission projects have a lesson not just for our young VBS explorers, but I'd like to think for all of us. By reaching out to those who are homebound, we're letting them know they are not alone, that God's love surrounds them through a community of people who support them. I have read over and over again this past year stories of people who feel isolated and alone during COVID. Even with vaccines, people who are especially vulnerable or medically fragile are still isolating and alone. Aside from continuing to wear our masks to protect our most vulnerable, think about how you can reach out to anyone who may be feeling particularly alone and let them know that you support them, that you're here for them, like our explorers are doing with their bookmarks. By connecting with our friends at VBS, we are reminded that even our established relationships need to be nurtured and fostered. Who might you reach out to that may be struggling this week? How might you ease a friend's burdens to let them know that you're, you love them and you support them? And as for supporting our educators at Bryant Woods, well, teachers have always been underpaid, undervalued, and underappreciated. But this year, more than ever, we saw this play out. I was given the opportunity to help moderate a Facebook group this past year supporting Howard County teachers. And what we heard over and over and over again is that teachers are overwhelmed, undersupported, and overflowing with worry, not just for them and their families, but for their students and their students' families, especially those who teach in communities that are especially vulnerable to COVID. And as incredible and amazing as teachers are, they are still only human and they are exhausted. Even Jesus the rabbi, the teacher, had to take a break once in a while. So how do we plan to support educators this year? How do you plan to support educators this year? Whether through our partnership with Bryant Woods or in other ways, I invite you to think about those who are literally shaping the future by teaching our children and how you can support them this year more than ever as we go into a school year with more uncertainty around this new Delta variant. Connections are so important in this world. Connections remind us all that we are part of God's kingdom together here on earth. Connections allow us to remember that we are not just here for ourselves, but for our bigger mission here on earth, our calling, if you will. Our three goals of VBS were to make sure everyone knew God loved them, to instill a sense of mission, and to have fun. And I feel like that's a great calling for all of us, not just a goal for Vacation Bible School. What a gift we would give to our children and ourselves if we followed those three rules. To know not only that God loves you just as you are, but that God loves 
everyone just as they are, to instill a sense of service in each of us, to make the world a better place, to love God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, and to have some fun, because really, what is life if we're not having at least a little bit of fun? I'd like to leave you with the words to the chorus of our Discovery on Adventure Island theme song. That's the song that you saw the kids and I singing in the video. I'm not sure if you were able to make out the words, but I wanted to highlight them because I think they're a good summary of what it is we are called to do as disciples of Christ. Discovery on Adventure Island, knowing God will always guide us. The Spirit leads, we will go, trusting Jesus we will follow. Discovery on Adventure Island, we will seek until we find the way, the truth, and the life on a quest for the light. May we all strive to do that daily. Amen. Loving God, we are here called to be the light in the world. Our ears hear those words in our worship. Our minds know what they mean. Our hearts long to follow them. But we know that tomorrow we will be tempted to slip back into the familiar life where we ourselves are the center of our world and the needs we focus on are almost entirely our own. In our giving this day, Help us strengthen our resolve to be light as Christ is the light of the world. For it is in the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. There are a number of ways you can give to the church. There is the Givelify app, which you can use on your phone or on your computer. There is the Donate Now button on the church's website. You can mail a check into the church. Or you can do it the old-fashioned way, which is to drop... Uh, your donation into the, the basket in the back. Your generosity helps support missions of this church, such as the one we've just seen, Vacation Bible School. This little light of
May our Christian living be a light to those who live in darkness. May our Christian communities be cities of light to be seen from afar as signs that God lives and works in his people. And may God bless us all for this mission, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now, friends, and let the light of Christ shine on all those who live around you. Thanks be to God. We thank everyone for joining us here today. This concludes our time of worship, and we will see you next week right back in this place at 10.30 a.m. We will return to our original worship time at 10.30 a.m., starting next Sunday, August the 15th, when Mr. Hewitt Tishome will be preaching as he concludes his pastoral internship with us this summer. See you next week. Let your light shine.